plot against who? Against Paul. They took a solemn oath. Listen carefully. They took a solemn oath that they would neither eat nor drink until they had killed him. 30. Over 40 of them, <laughs> over 40 men, ritually bound themselves to this mother past. And presented themselves to the high priest and religious leaders. We have bound ourselves by solemn oath to eat nothing until we have killed Paul. But when we need your help, send the request from the council to the captain. Please bring it up in an ivy, please. Bring it up in an ivy. Let's start from 12. I want us to understand it very clearly. From 12 now. 12. Now look at this. Can we read together? Let's read together verse 12. Want to go? Let me hear your voice. They formed a conspiracy and bind themselves with what? With an oath. Not to eat or drink until they had what? They have killed Paul. That he says, more than 40 men were involved in this plot. How many men? How many men? 40. Yes. They now went to the chief priests and elders and said, we have taken a solemn oath not to eat anything until we have killed Paul. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's where we stop. 40 men. That is somebody's church member. 40 people. Not one. Be on your feet. Let me start by releasing a word from this mouth of prayer. I prophesy to everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Every gang up and plans of the enemy from the pit of hell to cut off your life and to take your life. I stand on this exalted altar. If I hear your amen, that plan go back to send I say, if I hear your amen, the plan go back to send In the mighty name of Jesus. How does it? Quickly, I want to speak a word I tie. Narrow escape. Amen. Amen. Narrow what? It takes grace. It takes God for you to escape such dangle. There are many of you watching right now. If God has opened your eyes to see certain things you have escaped in life, you will know that God is faithful. If God can open your eyes and see those that are plotting against you, you'll be surprised and say, hey, is that how man is? The funny part of it is it happened to David. David said, I'm not angry because the enemy is coming from outside. I'm not angry because the person that is fighting me is from far. The one that pain me most is that the enemy I'm seeing is the one that lives in my house. The one that ate my food. The one that laughed with me. He's the one that is after my destiny. He's the one that said I can't go further. He's the one that said I can't see anything go. And he cried out in Psalm 27 verse 1. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? Even when the enemies are my foes, when they ought up to eat up my flesh, they shall stumble and fall. No matter their gang of they shall fall. No matter their gang of they shall fall. No matter their gang of they will fall. Lift your hand and shall fire. eyes and see those that are after you, you'll be surprised. I have seen wickedness. I have seen wickedness. With my few days of preaching and prophesying, I've seen people rising up against people. I've seen people fighting people. But there is one thing that always gives me confidence. He makes me understand. I say, surely they will gather. 
Solid Surely they will gather, but because their gathering is not from him, it must surely be what? Let me say to you, brother, sister, hear the sound of my voice. I don't know how they rise up against you, but you shall escape. There is a reason for this program. Amen. Amen. God has already started doing something. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Look at this. There are some dates spiritually that have just been cancelled. Amen. 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 Hear this. I don't know who you are. I'm not saying this to entertain you. But I know it rise from my spirit with the assurance of the Holy Spirit. Hearing the sound of my voice and celebrating today, you will celebrate bless you with us. Yeah. You will celebrate our party with us. Yeah. You will celebrate our 50 years. Yeah. Even scientists cannot understand what happened. There is a day is still missing. A day. Why? Because a prophet came out and spoke, and sun stood still, and moon stood still for hours. There's somebody beside you. Don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. What is inside of me? What is inside of me? Is bigger than what you are thinking. Say, so look at me very well. I am highly anointed. I prayed for a young man that was this year when he called and he said pastor pray for me somebody gave me a message that said they have sent a prayer for me to die and I said what is the problem he said they sent an accident for me that I'm going to die and he said pastor the same date that the man of God why I believe that man of God is because he mentioned the same date that they sent accident for me. Last few years, I had a terrible accident that I lost my leg. They didn't call the leg, but because the, the medical people, whatever they did, was able, but now when you still see him, he still live. He said, Pastor, I don't know what to do. And nobody grow old in my father's house. People are dying. I am the next way I'm seeing it. And there is a particular year. And when he finished, I didn't allow her to run up. And the funny part of it was doing what we were doing our seven days fast. I said, that devil is a bastard. I said, don't conclude. Let me conclude for you. They have set the trap. You will escape. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said, time to two days fast for me. And when you are true, call me. The day he called was the day I was, I don't know whether we came there for a program. I was at the larger bus stop at that first station when his call came in and he said, Pastor, I'm through with the prayer. And I didn't mind whether people were moving or people were inside the station. I spoke in tongues in capital letters. And I said, Power from above. This stand is not a barrier. Every spell and mark of death that has been put on you, I take it off from you and I throw it back to the sender. And after I declared that one with full assurance, the man hollered a louder amen where he was. And I said, it is settled. He said, is that all? I said, it is settled. No evil, no power. Ladies and gentlemen, the date and the time they set for him has passed. Amen. The month he has crossed it. Amen. He called me last time and said, Pastor, the particular time and date has passed and he's still alive. Amen. Your enemies will be put to shame. Amen. 
Yeah. The place the other day, Psalm 71, he said, David said, I have become a wonder to many. They set a trap for you, expect you to fall. You are bouncing. They want your business to close. They saw that the business is expanding. They want you to die through accident. They saw you drive your car, came back. May God make you a wonder. Amen. Paul was on his own and he set up the plans. Imagine the kind of plot that has committed to kill a man. What was his offense? Nobody can explain. They didn't just plan. They went and take an oath with blood. Imagine enemies are fasting but you, you can't fast. If only you know the sacrifice that your enemies are paying to bring you down. You put your toes very well. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. People decide not to eat or drink because somebody needs to go down. But you, you relax. You relax. Which is not fair. Learn to pray. Learn to fast. Learn to be in His presence. You never can tell what God can do. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Here. Right on, sir. We had the testimony of our sister. Is that that was on Thursday? She came up on Thursday and somebody, she came and see me and said, Pastor, somebody, no, if not that woman would die. That he saw burial, he saw the man doing burial. They need to buy some things and buy some things. Mention all they need to buy. And when the man came back to the wife, the wife said, I'm not buying anything. Nothing will happen to me. If you say that shall not lie, try all your possible best. Even when lie is coming to your mind, try not to do what? Lie. To lie. You say that shall not commit fornication. Don't sleep with your members. No matter how beautiful they are. I won't be able to teach you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you with me at all? Yes, say what that makes you a man of God. That that differentiates you from others. So it's not prophecy. It's not miracle. Ah, this man of God, God is using him. He's a man of God. No, it is character. Watch him. What are the things that he's saying? Is this somebody that double talk? Double talk? Is this somebody that when he say a word, when you check it, say good morning, check it, it's, a, it's afternoon. Praise the Lord. But when you see the traits of Christianity in him, characters, Whatever he says, he makes sure he tries to do it, stand right, avoid anything that will stain his name. That is a man of God. That is a man that the hand of God is upon. The same thing has to go with also a Christian. What makes him a Christian? The kind of life that that person is what is living. Not about miracles. Let him doctor can. Let him doctors can do that. People they miss one or two things they pray together, they will change your story. But no. Praise God. I said, praise the Lord. So what the man said to the woman was truth. And I said, go home. Early morning. Let her just take water and declare word. What I don't know won't affect me. My father, my husband's side, my mother's side, this and that. Just declare through the water away and, and let's see what God will do. And she did the prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she had a dream after that prayer. That same day after that, the night of it, she now had a dream. I don't know if the woman is around. Is a man my around? Because she told me that she will not come around because well, she says she's not. But all of us were here on Thursday when she was testifying. It does not mean I should go to what is happening in my father's house or my husband's side. I am a separate person. And she now had that dream that night. Labor started from 4 a.m. till the following day. The woman said she called, but I could not be. Some of the plan for the oppression canceled. Woman alive, mother, child, also what? Alive. I pray for you. The expectation of your enemy will be disappointed. I said it to be disappointed.
the person is saying, Do you hear you? Tell that person, I have God with me. I, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Hey. Your uncles are telling you that they will not share the land, that if they see your leg in that land, that you will die. Go and pack the sand and declare what? Uh huh, wala. Go near Kerala. Declare what? They are taking your property by force. When I was living at the Laje, my past, my neighbor that was using to manage my life with my big television. Then I don't forget the price I bought is 7,000 naira. Very mighty. I don't do small things. Praise God. The only difference is that the, the television does not have remote control. I control it with broom. That you are not happy with. Let there be restoration. I say, let there be restoration. I want to prophesy to 50 persons that will connect to this world. 